Hi, I'm Chloe Ducart, and as an ACMA student, I understand how challenging it can be for some of those quirky art kids to grasp the most basic concepts of science lab safety. So, using the latest cloning technology, me and my little clone have put together a video to walk through basic lab safety for those ACMA kids who just don't know what isn't okay. After completing an experiment, all chemical waste should be... Left at your lab station for the next class? No. Taken home with you? No. No. Now put that back. Put it back. Now, now look, you're not listening to me. Put it back! Should they be put back where you found them? No. They should be disposed of according to the instructor. Now go do that now. Good job. Should you point the open end of a test tube toward yourself? No. Should you point it towards your classmate? No. Don't do that. You're scaring them. Stop. That's dangerous. Should you gently tip it upside down, letting the chemicals spill onto the table and then heat the chemicals from off the table? No. Always point the open end of the test tube away from all people. Now, say you hurt yourself in the lab. That's not hard to do. Should you just ignore it, letting the blood drip down your hand and mingle with the chemicals you're doing science with? That's a bad idea. Should you call an ambulance for your wounded finger? Nope. That's also a bad idea. They have better things to do than care about you. Should you attempt to apply first aid yourself? Nope. That's a really bad idea. Your hand's broken, remember? You can only use one of them. That would be hard to do. See? You're failing right now. You're such a failure. Just die already! Just die. Just give up. You're wrong. No! In case of an injury, tell your instructor at once. There you go. You finally did something right. Now, if you have long hair in the lab, it must be cut short? No. Held away from the experiment with one hand? No. Always neatly groomed? Nice, but no. Long hair in the lab should be tied back or pinned back with a hair tie or hairpins. That way, when you're doing science, you won't die. You're lucky I like you, because I wouldn't tell you that otherwise. I just let you die. Ideal lab shoes are flip-flops? No. Crocs? Nuh-uh. High-heeled, leather, and sexy? Sorry. Ideal lab shoes are closed-toed. That's all. Can you believe it? When some lab equipment is not working properly, should you carry on like nothing happened? No! Should you use your wand? No. Your Hogwarts acceptance letter didn't come for a reason. Should you use a band-aid to tape it up yourself? No. Remember, you suck at first aid. We've been through this. Stop! You're just making a mess. If a piece of lab equipment is broken, just tell your lab instructor. Are you noticing a pattern here? I know I am. After working with chemicals, get your hands clean by wiping your hands on your clothes. No. No. Stop it. Smearing your chemical infested hands over your face and neck and jaw and arms. No. Bad idea. Stop. Treating your hands with hand lotion? Don't do that. No, that's not gonna help. Uh-uh. Just wash your hands in the sink. Come on, it's not complicated. It really isn't.